Welcome to Fabulous Valhalla. Huh, not what I was expecting. Well, if you're ever wondering where the name Las Vegas comes from, turns out it's old Viking for I took Olaf's money. That's because when the Vikings dream of Valhalla, what they're really dreaming of is a place to gamble and drink. Valhalla is our symbol for the Vegas nerf, and of course we couldn't ignore the Vegas, Vegas sound alike, so we've made Valhalla into a Viking paradise. For gambling, that is. The Vegas nerf, or cranial nerve 10, originates in the medulla, and travels outside the cranial vault via the jugular foramen, along with two other cranial nerves, 9 and 11. So we've got 9, 10, and 11 rune stones all being juggled here by our juggler, our symbol for the jugular foramen. As the longest cranial nerve, the vagus nerve actually travels down the neck, into the thorax, and even into the abdomen. To get there, it travels with the esophagus, affectionately called the goose, through the esophageal hiatus. We've shown this with this goose poking his neck through the clouds, with his stomach staying under the clouds. You'll know all about the great Viking goose god, a majestic and prominent figure of the Norse pantheon. The vagus nerve does... Mm, a lot, so let's not waste any time. It innervates the larynx extensively, including all the muscles used to produce sound and speech, and raucous Viking songs, so we've symbolized this with a square, boxy whistle. Like a voice box? get it? Be sure to check out our two singing scenes to cover all of that in the larynx and recurrent laryngeal nerve sketches. The vagus nerve also innervates the muscles of the pharynx and soft palate, which are important for swallowing. One particularly important muscle is the levator veli palatini, which elevates the soft palate during swallowing to prevent food from refluxing up into the nasopharynx. So we've elevated this artist and his palatini, which is probably Italian for palate, helping to remember both its function and its name. Ooh, look out. Looks like a bit of an artist rivalry. Uh, I call foul play. The levator veli palatini is a very clinically relevant muscle and is useful in diagnosing the side of lesions of cranial nerve 10. If it loses function, then the soft palate droops on that same ipsilateral side, and this causes the uvula, which is attached to the soft palate in the midline, to droop as well. But since the soft palate is still tight on the normal side, the uvula ends up pointing towards the normal side, away from the side with the lesion, kind of like this artist is swinging towards his buddy and dropping his palate. No doubt he's going to try and kick that leg out so his buddy falls too. 